Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 23. Today we enter the dark forest that I've been talking about for the, uh, for the last episode I believe. Um, well first off, usually as it happens in my series I have fallen sick once again. It's been a, a, a terrible season so I do apologize if you uh, if you feel like I'm forcing my voice or I, I'm speaking strangely. It's uh, mostly because I I am doing a bit of an effort to speak out loud. Uh, it, I got a little bit of a sore throat and that's it. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that actually. But yeah, we're gonna take this uh, lift elevator and down we go to the dark forest. We've uh, been explained before by Halsen before, uh, when he told us to enter here that we should use a moon lantern we do have one of those and well we need we needed to to get deeper into the forest uh, because he's been speaking about a curse and near also can tell you that if you befriend him obviously we do not we killed him but yeah and also for this area, I do believe it would be quite better to bring Will. So, before anything, I'm just gonna go to the camp real quick and uh, we're gonna bench Laisel just for a bit. Uh, Laisel, it's, uh, it's got a lot going on story wise. So, we must press forward. We do Let's one head around. Then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. I put up the game volume. Let me know if it's uh, too loud. I was I, I thought it was too too low when watching my own videos and and whatnot. Obviously, but yeah, let me know. I would like to have some input on that. So yeah, we're gonna bench myself sure for now. The best course of action. Yep. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Thank you, sweetheart. I should touch some uh, some grass, probably. Very well. There's a schism growing among the Githyanki people, and Lazel just took one step towards choosing a side. Um. Let's see. That's the spirit. Let's go, boy. Uh, gotta level him up. We did not do that before. So yeah, I increased the, the volume on everything. So please let me know if it's uh, too loud. I guess you can always turn it down. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I saw this one before. Dimension door. This is pretty interesting because you can. Uh, use it with more allies you can have more allies more companions and as for this what is the book book of ancient secrets this is it uh, you can inscribe magical rituals in your book of shadows gain the ray of sickness chromatic orb and silence spell so uh, this is pretty good we're gonna go with that we don't need to replace anything let's get going very well uh, bringing will more more than anything because there is uh, plenty of stuff to lockpick just like this chest right here well let's read this first we offer ourselves to the darkness that blessed Shah may give us her mercy very well I'll see what I can do Gods be damned. If it wasn't because he's got lots of um, bonuses. And it's a lot of shite. No one back home will ever <laughs> As usual. <laughs> that is. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I, I just would like to apologize. I know I sound extremely weird. Uh, but 
it, it does hurt a little bit but it matters not we keep at it with this series until we finish so yeah from here we are gonna go into the dark forest uh it's a key here we'll see what it opens I've been forgetting about opening the books, although I'm not reading them. I said I was going to open them all and show everything so people can read everything. Broken Moon Lantern. We don't need it. We do have one, I believe. It might be a camp. However, we're not going to use it yet. Uh, Adept of the Absolute. Oh, this is a Team Hitless member. Right. We've also have uh, collected a lot of uh, rubbish from the last two or three episodes. So stand by me if you need to keep warm in this awful place. Very well. There's a power to these shadows, a familiar one. I swear I can feel it. Familiar one. Rise, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, I guess we do not care much for Will's weapons. So we're gonna give him the um, the torch. So if we stand uh, close to each other. It's more of a possibility that we do not get affected by the curse. Those uh, shadows you see. And yeah, I'm also talking about Shadow Heart saying it's familiar feeling. We're gonna get to see what that is about. More uh, more. I feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. More lore unraveling stuff. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Hmm. Well. First time I've been out of my element in the dark. Uh, so what does all this mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Very well. That is interesting. But yeah, we should keep going with Will. Trying to not get cursed. This place is heavy. Just a peek. Hmm. A bed roll. Supplies. That might be worth a look. I guess these things can be used for the um, uh, for the alchemy. Yep. Trying to get the journal. Notes on the cursed shadows. If ever they were to spread, it did not end well. That's what we get, basically. Oh, 
I'm assuming this also, yep. Yeah. Uh, they are for the... For the alchemists. In this area, lads, we are going to face... Um, well, I don't know if I should tell you this, but... Uh, there is bosses in this area. And they are pretty cool. They, Last light in west. Moonrise towers southwest. There you go. Watch the shadows. Oh, there's people there. Gotta be careful with all the shadows, so we wanna turn this on. And we'll see what this is about. There's more people here. Stay together. Keep to the light. So guys, you see the emblem she's got in her chest. Stop! Who's there? Who's there? Uh, I'm the back urge. <laughs> First, come closer. Hands up. Very well. Jonas, move in. Well, he's no longer alive. That much I can guess. to save them get ready to fight let's do it let's go out right so did that do any damage yeah the game is a little it's been a little buggy it seems very well so we've got these shadows they are all over it would be a good thing if we can save them all uh, so I'm Karlak, right? There is a brazier here, brazier, brazier, whatever. We should light it up, but we got this one behind. Easy nice. Um. They all have the same HP, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of this one if possible. Almost. They do hit kinda hard. It's not too bad, but it's um, concerning for the... Well, when I cast fireballs here... There, and... I'm gonna cast... No, I probably shouldn't, really. Let's just get... Uh, let's just get closer.
Immune to prone. If they're immune to prone, I cannot push them. I just, I imagine. So yeah, this is a good opportunity for you to see um, the level of the volume of the game and my voice as well. It's very difficult for me to to understand what it would be good for people, quite frankly. So yeah, let me know. Do you want the game to be lower? Do you want, do you want my voice to be lower? So this is Jonas. He's, uh, he's dead. He's corrupted, it seems. Can I make a jump? Who's lower HP? This guy. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Brilliant. No holding back. Okay, I got caution ray. This is like four charge, I believe. Let's do this. Is there another one? It would seem not. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, she's in the she's in the cursed. She's in the shadow. Oh, there it is. I knew I was missing. I, I knew I was missing one, but I could not see it. I should have casted the weapon, but it's too late now. We're about to beat them. Fall by my hand. There you are. Uh, I can try this. And there's only this one and that one. The other girl, it's about to die. Sort of. Karlak, as usual, MVP. There we are. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Harper, so that uh, insignia she's got in the. Keep your in a uniform. Tired. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. We do have one of those. We found it in a corpse, and it's, it was basically just a clue to tell us who the well, the dead guy was. Um, safe place? You mean somewhere the shadows cannot penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. 
Harpers, move out. Very well. So yeah, those are the Harpers. Uh, should see if I can. And there's no point in using this one. Just gonna heal. Well. Right. And yeah, we should be still proceed. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. Oh, so these are like well vestiges. So it says, uh, these things we can use for the alchemy. It's nice. A night orchid. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I believe the night orchid is the one flower Shadowheart said she liked. Maybe we can give it to her or something. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. Familiar. Uh, no, no, it doesn't say anything about the flower. Uh, probably it's not the right one then. Might have mistaken. But yeah, it was something about, uh, well, something night. So, there's a few things to see in this area. I, and I was, as I was saying before, we started fighting and whatnot. This is where we are going to f start facing real bosses. Why do I say real bosses? Well, tougher bosses. Not so easy anymore. Well, that was weird. And it's quite interesting. I, I really like this area. Oh, it's locked. Of the people. As one does. Let's see. There you are. There is some... Oh, can I open this? Should I? Looks like the mutts got here before I did. Oh, there's no one in there then. Roots. What is this? Nice, that is a potion of invisibility. Could always be useful. Oh, there is someone there. He who was. Oh, okay. your guilt the waning moon. <clears throat> apologies I mute myself to <laughs> to cough uh, okay this is a necromancer what is he doing let's see uh playing with the dead how we how charming indeed one whose secrets are not for your ears be on your way. A white crow. A fair point. Or a Perhaps this one raven? Could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven, a raven. asks, will you be their voice? Ah. Uh, the murdered lie silent. The raven asks. Will you be? Will you be their voice? Ah, uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, depends who murdered this woman. She is not the victim. Nay, she is the perpetrator. 
Oh, okay. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence, promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. They died because of her. And to this day, her victims lie unavenged. So this guy is sort of like a... Um, I don't know, like a just necromancer? Just this sort of necromancy? I don't know. Uh, she's dead. How much more can she pay? Death is not the end. Merely another beginning. I see Another the record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Uh, face trial of her, uh, for her crimes after death. That is hard as fuck. Uh, hardly a fair trial. You've already decided her guilt. Why? My reasons are of no consequence. Your soul sparks with vengeance. Well, that is true. Fury. This is your chance to torment a murderer. To make her suffer. Will you take it? Well, he got me there. He got me there. We are a vengeance oath paladin, but we are oath breaker as well. I don't know. He did cut me there. Eh? Okay. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Let's see. I thank you. As to those who died by her words. Go to the distillery. The one she calls the waning moon. Find the ledger. And bring it to me. Waning moon. Okay, then. Fair enough. So yeah, uh, lads, well, gals have to stay close to me, otherwise they start getting the curse. Well, okay. But yeah, just as any other new area. There is always going to be lots of stuff to discover and dialogues to be had. Uh, this is for where we came before. Uh, wait, no, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this is from whence we came. These are the, the, the dead harpers. Something's looking at us. North, last light in. South, risen road. West, Rythwin Town. Well, we want to go either to Moonrise Towers or to Last Light Inn, which is the refuge the Harpers told us about. Uh, there is a chest over there. Holy shit. Oh, I did not know about this, lol. Okay. We did get surprised, so probably we're gonna lose a few turns. Quite possibly. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But yeah, you see? The, like, I did play through this game once and I don't remember this. But to be fair, I did skip a lot of things that can be found in this area. Oh my god, I'm dying while speaking. Never mind. This one's different than the others. This one. What's going on? Uh, we did find a key, so maybe that opens the chest.
Oh no. That's probably um Oh we'll we'll slow HP already. He was when we got here. Ah, oh, they, they are not weak at all. Yeah, I'm back at the Karlak because they were surprised they, they could not. Okay, that one's out. 90 XP, that's crazy. So... Cannot move, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to step here. No, I cannot move because of the veins, of course. I can only do this. We got this, but I don't think it's a good idea to use it just yet. And I got healings. Hopefully I don't heal the enemy. I think I did. Okay, I didn't know how it worked. Okay, nice. At least it didn't fail. Wheel is fucked up. Scorching ray. Hopefully, because it's fire. And they are, well, three. Okay. That evens the plane a little bit. That doesn't. One less. Wheels down. Guys, almost dead. That's it. Oh no. Nice. I reckon I go Time to this one and then to this one. Damn. Can't give up. So there's this guy and the other one. If it doesn't fail, okay, good enough. Yeah, Shadow Heart has a lot of defense. No. <laughs> Blood comes easy these days. I wanna get out. Because this guy explodes. Oh wow. Right, uh, well, Will is dead. Take <laughs> Precisely, uh, shall I come here? Uh, look at those numbers, and then. 
Tempest. And I should probably use this on me too. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Well, yeah, I did not know about this, or maybe I forgot about it. I don't remember facing them, quite frankly. Uh, Woodbark, I believe. You can do something with that. Not entirely sure. But yeah, lads. We have not seen anything yet. There is a lot to be seen in this area alone. Wow. I bet it's like two potions and nothing else. Well, at least gold. Shalhar, can you stop? Please. Very well. And this is... I believe where we came from. Yeah, that's Jonas. This is where we were before. More than anything, just because I like to clean up uh, areas when we are going through a new place, I like to do everything. You know, for the sake of the series, more than anything else. There is nothing much more that we can see before we proceed and continue. Uh, yeah, it's not really much. Show me a little leg. Raven. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Ah, there's a lot of them. Well, they, they all have 1 HP. But still, it was... Um, how do you say it? Unexpected. Now, why do you do that? 40 HP each? Oh, wow. Let's see. Can I push it? Do they hit hard, though? Ah, oh, nice. Well, it seems they don't hit much. So what is this? Is uh... I'm assuming this is f more for some sort of... Um, it's like a XP gift from the game. I mean, it's 40 each. That's insane. They're just birds. Uh, this doesn't work for anything. Come on, can't stay idle. I do have the cleave. But I'm gonna hit Shard, I believe. No. 80 XP. Lol. My faith will protect me. Uh, well, the funny thing would be to do, to use this, you know? But nah. Let's not. On the victor's path. This is fairly easy. Look at that. There we go. Some XP gift by the game. Uh, this one is different though. Raven. Help. Uh, this letter is written on a scrap of paper. Blood and age have made it near illegible in parts. Help. Darkness has rolled into Rithvin. 
because you know cutting us off on all sides we've spent people through but no one can make it um, more than a few steps before the words are obscure okay so this is explaining that the letter is irredible uh this letter is, uh, is our last hope send help anyone from anywhere i beg of you i will renounce our lady loss and kiss the moon maiden's feet if that's what it takes just don't let the darkness take us uh you reckon this were shar worshippers oh no it is seluna uh, i believe there is something here oh there it is so yeah you know um shadow heart it's not as um weak to the curse of this land As one does. mostly because of uh because of lady Shar apparently bless her you know in a way guys it's so difficult to explain stuff with my throat like this <laughs> i apologize hopefully next video i'm better for tomorrow and but yeah Shar, as you remember, it's the the goddess of the dark. Look, that's the village, is it? Yeah. And Seluna, the lady of the light. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the harpers spoke of. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Very well. Let's go, lads. Close to me with the lights. Look there. A shimmer of light, keeping the shadows at bay. Nice. You there. Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. She's with me. That's the Harpers. Come. Jahira. Attention, lads. We stand up and we clap. You hear her. Would you look at that? Uh, well, if you do, if you don't know, you haven't played them. Uh, well, you give us a playable character in in Baldur's Gate One and Two. Just quite recently, uh, I played them. Well, I played one. Um, little after starting this series, so yeah, it's insane. This this time around, seeing her like make, just makes uh, makes it much better. Uh Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> Sorry, I mute myself again. I was coughing. Uh I save your soldiers, and this is the thanks I get. Uh, could you at least explain to me why are you uh, why you're doing this? Absolutely. Oh. This is why we're here. You see, it is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know. It's that it knows its own kind. Oh. You should never have come here, true soul. Damn it. Uh, rage against the vines. We could do that. <laughs> I am not a true soul. Uh, well, we are not, really. What are you doing? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. Yep. Didn't even go 
goblins standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Well, we know you're here, right? So we can probably uh, show the artifact. Yeah. Is that thing? I heard everything you know about the artifact. Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is, but I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? To destroy the Absolute in its lair, the Moonrise Towers. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. She that sold us hell, by the way. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Not entirely sure how much time went through each game. But I know that she's like really old. And her husband actually, well no, probably shouldn't say more than that if you haven't played the games. Uh, but yeah, no, we are going to have it around a while. Karlak. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The yeah. Jahira. I know. You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, yeah, Jahira there you was are. part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. Ball spawn. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Right? What a character this is. Love Karlak. So, before continuing, uh, this is a good setup episode for this area, for this new area that we're gonna go through. So before continuing, I'm gonna tell you about this uh, this woman here, Tali, called the master Tali. There is something. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. All right. Uh, there is something you can do, and this this persuasion. Anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself. You can do this with all your companions, just so you know. And this is what it does if you make. The right throw which i didn't there is two ones in one episode i am not doing Sorry, it if it costs me it costs so why do you want to do this just in case you're lacking supplies while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. because it gives you one supply each uh, companion and you can take Cheeky. four in case you oh, make them for rolls. Uh, obviously, I took a. Uh, I roll a one. <laughs> Why is she like that now? Charmed. Oh, because of Will. 
Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Nice. Cheeky. It's that because of the Whatever because of the spell. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Right. That's why we're thralls. I would have had something for you, but it seems to have up and disappeared. Sorry. Ah, that's odd. If she's charmed, can I still... Right by no. But yeah, you can do that just so you can get a couple more supplies. And as you can see, a lot of the tieflings um, from the grove made it here. Precisely, that is Dam on the blacksmith. We are going to go there. Last episode we talked about it with Karla. She, her, her, um, core, whatever it is, the apparatus she's got. It's been malfunctioning again. But I want to show you something first. This is interesting. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's in within the first five episodes of this series that we got to point out. Strange look in its eye. The strange ox at the grove, by the way. You see a strange ox. How did it make it here? So, uh, we do have one potion of animal speaking. So, let's see what's going on. We lost the chance to speak to him last time, which was almost 20 episodes ago. Let's see. Capable of what? Not for you to know. Oh, very secretive, aren't you? You you picked my curiosity. It's critical, nice. Well come close. Your mind to mine. Yeah, uh, this is vexing nonetheless. Attention here. Are you satisfied? There you go. That's what the hell was that? The unwanted visions were much like indeed. So I don't know. I never understood. You could let me know in the comments if you know. Is this ox or whatever it is a spawn of Baal uh, of Baal as well? A kindred spirit, but I only wish to be an ox. Do you understand? Yeah, I mean too. Uh, but yeah, this ox has the same thoughts, has the same unwanted killing sprees. Uh. You're trying to run from violent thoughts too, aren't you? My little secret. Ah, secret. I'll trade you your secret for one of mine. Ah, huh? I'm not what? a busybody. You ought to use me as an example, or you might get yourself in trouble. A thread, whatever you are, you are coming out. Also, it's a shape shifter or something. But yeah, this is the same ox that when we were at the grove, uh, everyone was pointing out. It's a strange ox. But yeah, I forgot to talk to him, or I believe I did not have any animals speaking at the time. So yeah, come out. Let's see where you are. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Oh, okay. What? What the fuck? Level 5 ooze. 
Uh, these ge gelatinous creatures usually dwell in caves and dungeons, feeding on refuse, carrion, and ill-fitted adventurers. Uh, I do not think I've seen it before. Maybe we have encountered them. I don't know. But yeah, this is odd nonetheless. Is it just a weird creature or is it a spawn of Baal? Because it's interesting to see their, uh, its thoughts. Uh, well, I cannot shoot from there apparently. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough in. Uh, well. Okay, disadvantage for proximity. But it's not too bad. Time to push my luck again. Oh, nice. Quite the same. Well, would you look at that? I've seen it all. At least it's dead now. When you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. That is nice. Shapeshifter boon ring. Ah. Well, it's good stuff. And. Those guys are kissing. And here's Damon. We got the iron. Uh, infernal iron and infernal alloy so we're gonna get going with that for Karlax Karlax? I thought you'd be in the city by now we were ambushed by cultists half of us were captured the other half ran here off the anvil into the forge we'll find them hopefully before you run off into the belly of the beast there's something I need to tell you well, two things. Good news and bad news. Uh, use the good news. Uh, well, Karlak, yeah. Which do you want to hear first? The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlak to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. Really happening. Well, she wants to touch people. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Uh. Let's hear him. Fine. Go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak, but there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that'll let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Damn, what a face. Uh... Right. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. Put her into a hug, dude. Let's go.
Yay. Thank you. Covered in blood, but still. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. Oh. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Well, yeah, thanks. That's uh, hard as fuck. Yeah. Apart from the doom and gloom, you've given me more than I could ever hope to repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? What a crazy, what a great character, Garlock. It's uh, just really cool. Where are you going? Let me talk to you. This is the best day. The best day. No, I'm not gonna say that. Lol. I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Uh, well, in in my mind, I'm married to Lacell. Quite frankly, uh, I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. <laughs> Fucking Withers. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. Lol. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna... Um, probably should just... To, uh, to use all the dialogue. Let's see. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Hmm. Uh, you could return just long enough for us to find some solution. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. I don't want to talk about this now. Yeah, fair I've enough. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that. Please. Ah, dude, that was so well delivered. It's insane. It's fucking amazing character. Uh... Yeah, let it be then. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. Very well. So, with that done, I would like to talk to you about a couple of things. So, we used the Infernal Iron However, we got the Infernal Alloy. And we are going to, um, still going to find a couple more. Uh, in the game since Karlak it's not gonna use any more of this 
she's not gonna ask for more um it, well it's not gonna use it anymore whatever uh, whatever we find infernal iron infernal alloy we can give it to damon and he will give us stuff I, that, I didn't mean that. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Just right there. Uh, but yeah, Damon. I thought it was you, saving my skin again. I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before, but I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Very well. Interesting materials. What do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When... Elturel was dragged into Avernus. I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. Ah, I can sense some. Cheeky. Almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it. Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Out there in the shadows. So that's uh, the little clue that game gives you. Uh, telling you that in the in the dark forest that it can be found. However, now. We got this. Uh, this is for the metal. Uh, for the infernal alloy, guys. I think I found a material you could work with. Can, uh, what can you make of it? Oh my god, I'm losing the voice. <laughs> Sorry, lads. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. And this is just in time, lads, because because uh, everyone else in our party is doing pretty good with their gear and and their build, right? And we are slacking now. So, contemplate now. <laughs> I cannot talk. Maybe show that to you. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Very well. Lot Heldusk armor. Let's see it. Look at that. 18 heavy armor. That's an infernal retribution when you are hit by a foe within 2 meters. It might take 1 to 4 fire damage. Superior play. You take 1 less piercing damage. This is insanity. This is great. And not only that. It's 3,200 gold, but look how it looks when I put it on. Damn, will you look at that? That is inside, it looks great. And that's not all. Need anything? I just saw this when, before talking to him, I just saw this. I did not know we had the materials. I thought we were gonna have to find them. But apparently we have it. I found this metal in a place called Greenforge. What do you make of it? This is the second out of three components of this it's perfect. Uh, really? set. Just a moment. I'll be able to work this one quickly. There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Flood Heldusk Helmet. This is not as good. Uh, ours is better. But we're gonna set it to camp because this can, this can be useful for builds. Um, in this, in, in Act 2, it's when we are really going to exploit and explore every build possible for every character. 
but yeah right now no, the one we got it's way better and uh where did he go need anything here Mm. No. I'll be here if you need anything. I'm looking for something, but I might be, I might be mistaken how how to get it. This another metal of the green forge. So this is the third and last component of this set. It's not a set because it's not complete. Well, well. But it's the last the piece. Something, and I know just what to do with him. One moment. Precisely. We also have another option of the masks we found. I don't know what those do. We're gonna explore that in the next episode. Just wanted to show you this. Very well. There you are. Be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Well, yeah, I got it on, so... Helldusk clothes. Those, um, unlike the, the, the helmet, these are indeed better than the ones we've got now. This. Just put it on. Uh... And this to camp. Look at that. We are looking good. All of these things be sent into camp because we are gonna get a lot of stuff from Damon uh, in order to explore more and more more pills in the future. So I'm gonna do something. You're gonna see a cut or a, fl a fast forward. And I'm gonna go back to the camp. I'm gonna sell all the junk we've got. And I'm gonna buy a few things from him. Very well, lads. Welcome from the cut. I am heavily encumbered. Look at this. So much rubbish. Need anything? So, first of all, he's got zero gold, right? So he cannot buy anything from me. However, we are going to buy a few things. He's got, from what I checked before, um, a few things that would, it could be useful uh, for all this matter about just having a lot of builds with a lot of characters. One of them is... Uh, well, this one as well, but this is not the one I'm looking for. This one, very rare. Life stealing, uh, sort of life stealing. On a critical hit, the target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a construct or an undead, you also gain 10 temporary hit points. This one could be useful for builds. Uh, there is a few things here that we can take. So, uh, there's that. Is this any good? Sword Master Gloves. You gain proficiency with short swords, long swords, and great swords. In addition, you gain a plus one bonus to melee attack rolls. Yeah, that could be useful as well. Um, armors. No, that, 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 not really. Do less slashing damage. Uh, well, no, that's just heavy armor. It's not that. We already got that. That that one could be good for a uh, for a rogue. This is light armor plus one, plus one bonus to stealth checks. You know, this could be good for Starion. Uh, really? Oh, 
Oh, but this is the same, but better. Okay. Yeah. Very well. It could be good for a study or not. Uh, well, depends. We'll see what kind of builds we do. Is there anything... Anything else that could be interesting? Well, what is this? Dark fire sure bow. Resistance to fire damage. Uh, well, it's a bow with haste. We should take it just in case, actually. You know, why not? Plus one, no. What about this one? Thermodynamo axe. Uh, plus two, uh, no, you gain two turns of heat. This could be very good for Karlak if at some point we take off the, we take away the, the spear, the returning pike. Um, which I don't think because it's really good and it's gonna evolve. Karlak's build, it's going to evolve. It's gonna be uh, way better. There is a lot of weapons we can use with that. Uh, Harmonium Halber. This one takes intelligence and wisdom minus one, but it's got plus two strength. Uh, that is not bad. It could be interesting. It could be really interesting. I'm gonna take that. Poison damage. Uh, and, and snaring strike. This could also be quite interesting for for the build. What about that hammer? You know, this could be for Will, even. I'm gonna take it to see if we do something with it at some point. It's not like we're gonna have all the weapons in the game or whatever, but we do want to have plenty of uh, options. Sorry, my, my voice. Plenty of options for builds, because that's gonna be an interesting part about this playthrough. Right, we're gonna take this as well. So it's five thousand. So we are going to go like this quite carefully. How many more space I got? Seems like I got no more spaces. Do I? Oh, I can still do. Well, I don't know how much more can I keep doing that. a lot of rubbish we got just a little more this off and go like that right 24 gold okay I'll be here if you need anything else well we've gone broke but we've got lots of stuff um 
I'm pretty sure we can find a lot of stuff to um, to make our fortune back. And something else I wanted to buy from here. It's from this lady. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Let's see. That would be this shield. Which also, she's got also lots of stuff. Just so you know. Uh, but so far, we're gonna just buy this... Um, this shield. Take care now. We are broke, lads. Uh, mostly just because this... This shield, it's... Um, I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Just better than the one, the one we got with Shadow Heart. That's it. Well, not too bad. I would say it was a good uh, setup episode for this whole area. We got lots of, lots of talking to do, lots of things to discover, and a couple of bosses to fight. Just letting you know. Uh, apologies for the voice. Hopefully, for the next video. In the next two days, uh, I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna be better, uh, but not bad for a setup episode. This is this has been good. Stay tuned because here we got lots of things to do. We're gonna go talk to you here our next episode. First thing we're gonna do, and yeah, with my great armor, I say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for one for watching once again, and I'll see you next time. Take care.